have given you all authority to take out the enemy. You are to conquer and subdue him. Satan has no reign and no rule and no authority within people's lives. God, you search my heart and thoughts. Make sure that I am lined up in your word, Lord. Nothing can come in and hinder what God wants to do. We're right. We're armed. We're dangerous. We're ready to go in. We have keys to bring massive amounts of people into the kingdom of God. Hi, I'm Angela Greenick. I want to say happy 4th of July to all of you out there. I'm here with a dear friend, a spiritual father, Ted Slavic, and we just come with a whirlwind of a word for you today. I love that. I love 4th of July. Most people love it because of picnics and the barbecues and the friends and the swimming and, of course, definitely the fireworks. But what I love about the 4th of July is freedom. And freedom, don't ever let anyone tell you differently but freedom will cost you everything for God so loved the world that he gave his only son it cost him everything to restore back what had been broken and stolen back in the garden and God wants us to multiply and to subdue and to go take the land for the kingdom of God you know the kingdom of heaven suffer violent Matthew 11 says but the violent take it back by force and we live in a great nation in America and all over the world and I'm just so grateful that we have men and women of God that are forerunners before us that have gone to war you know we just came out of you know just Memorial Day Veterans Day just some of the you know things that you go back and reflect on and how grateful you are that we live in such a great nation. But if we did not have people that went before us that laid down their lives Amen. in World War One and Two and the wars of Vietnam and Desert Storm and just Afghanistan, all the things that we've had to deal with. But you know what I love best about this nation? is that we still live in a land of the free and the home of the brave. And I believe I have one of the greatest, what did I like to call superheroes of the faith ever? And that's what Ted. <laughs> so I know you got something special to bring us today. I did. <gasps> Beautiful. Let's have it. <laughs> Yay. If tomorrow all the things were gone that I'd worked for all my life, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife, I thank my lucky star to be living here today because the flag still stands for freedom. Yes. They can't take that away. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> I won't forget the men who died who gave that right to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. Yes. God bless the USA. Yes. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. Yes. Across the plains of Texas from mm. sea to shining sea. Mm. From Detroit down to Houston and New York yes. to L.A. Well, we're proud in every American's heart. Mm -hmm. And it's time we stand and say that I'm proud to be an American, mm -hmm. and at least I know I'm free. Yes. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me. Mm -hmm. And I'll gladly stand up next to you yeah. and defend her still today. Yeah. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. Mm -hmm. God bless the USA. Amen. That's okay. Ooh. That's powerful. I'm trying not to fall out of my chair. <laughs> it's like a wave of God's glory hit me. Um, but it comes from such a pure heart, Ted. And um, I love this nation. I love every nation that I step into. I love the world. For God so loved the world. And uh, he's calling for us to walk in freedom. And that's going to take time sometimes. You know, we forget. 
I, when I was younger, I wanted to go into the army or, or the military to serve any way that I could. I didn't care. But God didn't have that call for me, but he called me to be a warrior, you know. And um, it's a you different. You have been, and yes. you are. And, you know, that's the one thing I have to say that I'm so grateful for is because in a lot of nations, like, you cannot be who you are mm -hmm. who you want to be. Like, I wanted to be, I wanted to serve this nation, and I serve it every day by honor, respect. We were just celebrating not that long ago, Veterans Day. I mean, it just, this year's gone so darn fast. And I was talking to the vets, and I thanked them for the service that they did. I mean, these guys were 40, 50 years ago working for the, you know, wall down there? yes. I and they, they were, had moved yeah. that. Yes, they moved that. And so these were some of the guys that had been there that were up in where I was at. And I was talking to them, and they asked me what I did for the for the, a living. They said, do you work? And I said, well, my husband works. I said, but I am a minister, so I have the opportunity to travel all over the world. And I take care of the poor and the broken, those that have no voice, that they can have a voice, to be a voice for those crying out that will mm -hmm. never be able to speak. And I am not kidding, Ted, this guy, he turned around and he had tears in his eyes and he thanked me. He said, thank you for being a veteran of this war. And I just thought, whoa, I mean, it just, it still just takes me, my breath away. And I thought, oh my gosh, he was thanking me for going into places. I'm going into war torn areas that most white people, especially being a woman from America would never go into Muslim nations. But when you go with God, he moves heaven and earth for you. Mm -hmm. You know, my first time in Pakistan, we were talking about this not that long ago, and they were, I was like, oh my gosh, Larry's like, I got so deadly sick, I couldn't call from Pakistan, Lahore, to Seattle, Washington, to Larry. There was no phones, anything, I just kept praying. You were I was, sick? Yeah, I was yeah. so violently sick, though. You know why? I opened up my curtain in my room, and they were burning the American flag. God. I wanted to go over there and say something, but I knew that I couldn't because I would be arrested forever. Um, but I was so grieved that because they, they call us the great Satan here. And I just thought, Lord, it's really sad because it's a desecration. Like Larry and I were like, you you don't let, Larry, like, don't you let that flag touch the ground. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, because I get real nervous because if it does, we have to bury it properly and everything mm -hmm. because we have such a reverence for this nation and the men and women. And because I do travel so much, I see people all over the world. I'm always stopping. I was just in Sweden last year and I stopped. They were from Japan. They were um, in their uniform and I thanked them for what they did for their nation. And they looked at me and I said, it doesn't matter what nation you're from or where you, what you do, if you're protecting your nation, God bless you. And the Japanese captain he was, just gave me the strangest look. And he, they looked and said in the language to him what I said, and he looked and said, thank you. Mm -hmm. Because I was honoring even regardless, like the honor code, I believe, must come back into this nation because this nation was birthed from God, mm -hmm. the Father. Do you got one more you can read for me? We've read this one. Read this yes, one? we did. Right. Uh, did we we did that one. Yes. Well, we'll just keep going down. We did that one. Gee, Let's see what the next. I know. I love it. Oh, yes. Here we go. This is a perfect way to close out this segment. Love it. He is my savior. He mm. taught me the way. Yes. Sure. Try as I will, how mm. often I stray. I know he forgives me. Mm. His book says it's true. Because of his love for me, I become yes. new. But why must I stumble? Why must I fall? With Christ in my heart, I can have it all. He says, come unto me, and I'll give you rest. But I want to change it, put God to the test. Why must I fight it? When the answer is so near, why must it be my way? Is this out of fear? I call out to my father. I know that he's there. He gives me a warning, it's time to beware. Have faith in your maker and 
prosper, you will. When I'm by your side, you can be still. Wow, wow. I seek out his son who resides up on high. I'm here with you, child. You don't need to cry. He is my savior. He taught me the way. Try as I will. How often I stray. I know he forgives me. His book says it's true. Because of his love for me, I become new. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a prayer for some of you right now. Listen, we live today again being 4th of July. Men and women of God have laid down their lives for the sake of our nation that we could have freedom. And I want to encourage you with this today. Please do not forget that we are still in areas of worn, torn nations and that we have men and women that are all over the world in the Army, the Air Force, the Marines, Navy, all of them all of the army, you know, all of the warriors, I call them all the warriors, but there are also all the moms at home and dads with the children and families that sacrifice everything so that we can have freedom. And freedom does come with a very high cost because it will cost you everything. And as Christians, I want to encourage you today, no matter where you live, to remember this, but that Whatever God's called and ordained for you to do, go and be the best that you can be. That's one of the mottos in you know, the Air Force, and I'll be the best that you can be in the Army or the Air Force, whatever it is. But I believe, without a shadow of a doubt, that word is so critical today because it needs to be His way. The, the, um, the songs that now are, you read, um, but they are still reminding us that we have got to listen to his voice we need to allow it to be god's way not our way mm -hmm. and to allow him to move and breathe and have his way and i uh, just don't forget our men and women that have paid the price and that are still paying the price every day can you close us in prayer I bless the families thank you ted mm. thank father you. in heaven on this your special day we want you to touch the ears of all the mothers and fathers who have children that are in the service of this country. Yes, Lord. Keep them safe, Father. Keep the parents strong and keep them in prayer for us and their children. Yes, Lord. And all of your children. Father, have them pray as we do. The one-day wars will never be necessary anymore. Yes, Lord. We don't need to kill each other anymore. I thank you, Father, for my friends, Angela, Larry, my bride, Carol, mm -hmm. that through them, I'm able to come before you, Father, and pray and give thanks. Yes, Lord. For I have not always been your child, but I am now. Mm -hmm. And shall be forevermore. We thank you, Father, for all that you've done for this country. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Keeping it strong, keeping our leaders strong. We pray for our leaders, mm -hmm. Father. We ask your continued blessing oh, yes. on our country and its people. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name and this prayer of thanks, I give yes. up. Amen. Amen. That prayer of thanksgiving is such a powerful prayer. You know, the greatest times that most people that we ever talk to, wherever they're at, 
they have the hardest times. I tell them, if you would have an attitude of gratitude and you would turn around and start thanking the Lord, he'll start to move on your behalf. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time my, my younger brother was in the service and we couldn't find him for six weeks. I mean, my poor mother and daddy were so frantic. And me and mom, we just kept praying. And we had found that he had gotten, he was uh, jumped and hurt and was in a coma for six weeks. But every day, mom and I prayed. I'm like, that devil's going to get his hands off my brother, and he will come home safe and sound. And within a matter of months, he was discharged, and he came home safe and sound. And, you know, sometimes I want to say this as it's the 4th of July, but even as parents, I feel like we're in a militant battle, and we're fighting for our children and our grandchildren. We are fighting for the inheritance of this great nation that God has given us, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, and that God would bring and keep blowing the wind and fire of the Holy Spirit from heaven to earth to consume darkness and to release the light. And the light comes through you and I, and it comes through you. And so I just want to again tell you, listen, have the most incredible day with your family. Happy Fourth of July. And always remember that freedom, it rings beautifully throughout this great nation. We love you. Have an amazing day and an incredible week. And we'll see you soon. Amen.